Hey everyone, this is Amir with Motorcar File, and in this episode, we bring you the most serene grand touring car Rolls Royce has ever produced the 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. BMW purchased a Rolls Royce in 1998, and after that purchase, the first car they made was the 2003 Phantom. Here, 11 years later, we have the most technologically advanced car Rolls Royce has ever made. The Wraith is filled with uh, absolutely divine details everywhere. Hand touched, hand finished. I mean, there's no machines, no conveyor belts, no robots involved with manufacturing this car, although BMW produces most of the parts. Here you can see the difference in the ghost in the Wraith. That actual turn signal down there below the headlight, the top of it turns down instead of turning up. And the Pantheon, traditional Pantheon grille is a, you know, a little bit wider, a couple inches deeper. And that um, spirit of ecstasy is actually canted forward for that aggressive look. During daytime driving, you have a brighter LED that wraps around like a C on the double R. And on the outer portion of the headlight, you have that uh, self-adjusting, self-leveling by Xenon projector. But when that's off, you have a brighter daytime LED. One of the most fantastic features about the Wraith is this automatic closing door. So you push a button from the driver's seat and you can actually shut that door completely automatically. Another feature, of course, BMW influenced, is the cameras on the bumper, which look right and left in case you're exiting a driveway that's blind. So that camera will show you a screen, a shot of sort of what's going on left and right. I mean, everything has a luxurious finish to it. So you can see the door handle with the suicide door opening backwards. Sort of looks like the buckle of... Uh, fine luggage this car is equipped with the bigger 21 inch alloy wheels and you know with the wheel setup and the lug uh, the suspension this car just feels like butter on the road you know from this angle you can see the led tail light but the the important thing is to see that fast back look rolls royce did with the wraith so you see a continuous line there's no uh, sweep down into the trunk line it's just one continuous line back so uh, under the hood you have a bmw derived v12 twin turbo and uh, it'll actually propel this 5400 pound car to 60 and 4.4 seconds which is pretty amazing you have 590 foot pounds of torque available at 1500 rpm 600 plus horsepower so let's listen to the engine here and see how it sounds One of the coolest features about this car is that, I mean, the technology-wise, the, the transmission is actually controlled by <laughs> a satellite GPS. So where you're driving, it'll know the road ahead of you and sort of what gear to, to put the car in. Everything is adjusted by itself. And the other thing is this car doesn't have a glass roof, so it has that starlight hand-woven fiber optic roof that you can see the starry night. And I mean, it's, it's just fantastic. And we're going to go through everything in detail and show you everything there is to know about this car and take her for a drive. Okay, so here we go. 2014 Rolls-Royce Wraith. The two-door adaptation of the Ghost. Let's go through the interior detail and complete walkthrough. So here's the key, quality key. Looks just like the 7 Series BMW key. A lot of this car is uh, taken from the 7 Series. so. Let's go through it and walk you through some of the features. So of course, traditional to Rolls Royce, you have suicide doors. And this car is finished in a gorgeous white on seashell leather with black leather accents, black piping, and in some areas, black stitching. exquisite extravagant details everywhere in this car personally this is one of my favorite cars we've ever reviewed decadent materials all hand finished hand laid hand done there's no machines involved with building this car I mean, other than manufacturing some of the parts 
uh, everything in this car is hand done. And of course you have the traditional Rolls Royce umbrella which stows away back neatly in its compartment. The Ghosts, Phantoms and everything new to uh, Rolls Royce is built in Goodwood, England and they have that insignia plate here beautifully inlaid in this foot protector. So rubber inlays here and beautiful steel finishes. Very simple seat controls. Forward, back, up and down. They kept this simple because this is supposed to be a driver's car. You have lumbar support. And um, I thought this was a great idea. So don't overcomplicate the seat controls. All of the leather in this car just feels absolutely supple, soft, luxurious. I mean, you know, I watched a couple of uh, TV shows about how Rolls Royce selects the leather they use in their cars. And they, they, I mean, they go through a grueling process to select the leathers that actually make it down to the car. So let's get in and go through some of the features. And um, a nifty little feature the Ghost and the Wraith have. So when you get in, this is a keyless entry system. So I could have just walked up to the car and opened the car with this in my pocket. Um, but a good feature is if you slide this cup holder forward, there's a slot for the key. So it rests well in there. And another amazing feature is that if you see here, there's door buttons and a boot button. So you can open and close the trunk and open and close the passenger and the driver's door automatically. So let's go ahead and start her up. To start, you put your foot on the brake and just push the start button. This car is equipped with a heads up display system. Lane departure safety. So it'll warn you if you're departing your lane and it'll vibrate the steering wheel to try to keep you in track. Off to the left of the steering wheel here, you have your panel brightness knob so you can control this up and down for the brightness of your your instrument cluster your headlight control here is for auto off daytime running led and full on you have all of your technology features this car is equipped with here so you have your front collision warning your lane departure assistance system your heads up display and a night vision camera this car is the most technologically advanced car rolls royce has ever built it's not only the most technologically advanced, it's the most powerful too. So a couple of features that are key to highlight here in the interior is that while everything is shared across the, the, the Rolls Royce line, in other words, a lot of things in here are shared with the Ghost, there's a lot of key features they changed which are, which are very, very nice touches to distinguish the Wraith from the, from the Ghost. So starting with this, you have this sort of contrast two-color instrument display and you have, the, of course, the orange-tipped uh, needles to tell you what all the gauges are at so okay I, of course if these were black they would sort of get lost and they just put those orange highlights to let you know easy and quickly you can you can distinguish what's going on so there's a uh, liquid crystal display here like an LCD screen and uh, it's just a black and white contrast screen that sort of digitally will display information like the transmission setting the temperature mileage on the car and trip miles and your range this is your, your fuel range. So coming back here to the steering wheel, we have controls here for um, your cruise control, your telephone, voice activation settings if you wanted to voice command and some knobs to, to assist in that process. You have your volume control and you have your, your speed setting for your, for your, of course, your cruise control. In the door panel here, this car is not equipped with the Canadel paneling system, the wood option that has that 55 degree grain, um, which is a beautiful feature, but I really love this this black and white, which they call this white seashell. I love this contrast. I mean, it, it makes the car feel exceptional, luxurious, soft. I mean, this is a very, very nice feature. I can't imagine, I mean, the wood paneling is a nice feature, a better feature, but but I would be happy either way, honestly. This is a gorgeous setup here. 
course you have chrome finishes polished finishes glass paneling uh, features and details and every single f switch feels feels very very quality very nicely built nicely put together these are all hand you know hand assembled so everything in the in the in the wraith of course the ghost 2 has real tactile real glass so you can see here that right now I'm pushing this one it says not not assigned but what you don't see is that I'm barely touching this radio uh, memory button and it's giving me feedback which is pretty cool I mean it's pretty nice it's pretty cool to you don't have to push it all the way in and, and it gives you feedback like that so here's your parking brake and your automatic brake hold when you're in traffic so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake when you're driving in traffic you have a safety feature here that when you're trying to merge into uh, oncoming traffic and you can't see ahead of you there's of course side cameras that will point left and right that will capture what you can't see in case your 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 view is obstructed by maybe a wall or something in the center stack here you have these uh, vent shut and vent open buttons or maybe you can call them levers and they're very very tactile very nice you know it, it feels feels so quality that when you close it you get a sensation of it's closed halfway open and full open it's it's very distinguishable distinguishable all the settings and in between is very smooth same thing for the passenger setting so if you please you can also drive with the panel closed and this will hide the screen for you and this car is equipped with this black squirrel swirl uh, wood paneling which is gorgeous with this black and seashell uh, leather combination it's really a perfect combination very very tasteful combination by the owner of this car so you have your AC controls here left and right for the passenger passenger has their own fan setting driver has his own fan setting of course your temperature warm to cold for your um, main vents and your lower vents and of course some continued temperature control settings there you have a hideaway panel here for your cup holders and your key and again it feels very smooth I mean, very, everything is very decadent the feeling the, the when you open something you close something it feels like what a four hundred thousand dollar car should feel like you have your hazard button here your hazard lights and your door lock and unlock over here in certain driving conditions you might want to raise the car so if you're going over a ramp or you're for any reason you might need to raise the front of the car or raise the entire car you can do so there and if you're the parking and you're departing the car and you want to make it more convenient you can of course go all the way down and lower the car down low so when you get out it's much more convenient while the iDrive this sort of iDrive system that's derived from the BMW which I mean it's almost like identical to the BMW identical to the Ghost as well naturally this iDrive system is special for the Wraith contrary to popular belief that that it's exactly the same as the Ghost what they've done with this car is that this little feature of the the, the iDrive center, the Spirit of Ecstasy control knob, this rotary knob, is actually a touch screen. You can pinch to zoom in the maps. You can write down an address when you're putting inputting a destination. It's the only Rolls Royce you can do that with. So let me give you an example. So we're in this the the map right now. If we go down here to interactive map within this map I can pinch the knob to zoom just like a smartphone I can go right I can go left this is all I'm using my finger it's a touch screen very nice feature it's the only Rolls Royce that has this it separates itself from the other Rolls Royces So within this sub-menu, you can go back, if you push back, this is something that the Ghost has, BMWs have, now Mercedes has it too. It's a very um, singular, obvious back button for people that are intimidated by these sort of systems. So you get locked somewhere, you can go back. Now going back from the map will take you to the main menu, which gives you all of the options this car has. So you have office applications, you have other applications. So if you go to office here, you know, you have your contacts, your, your telephone, if you had a telephone that you connected all the notes and 
messages and everything there you can go to your office check your appointments and everything like that it'll pull up your calendar you have online applications with connected drive from BMW vehicle information is you know the service you can go to the owner's manual and this is a, right here an owner's manual uh, that'll give you access to and I can see I can write down that's my finger there I can write down letters I can search with that so you can also do search by pictures which will give you you know options so you can go to the door your windows or the hood headlights and it's a it's an owner's manual that's searchable via icons basically so from here you can go to your navigation which we were in you can go to your telephone if you had a connected telephone and listen to Bluetooth audio and your multimedia of course that would be something like a USB drive or, or you, you downloaded music onto the hard drive of the car and of course your radio so this car has this Harman Kardon 18 speaker system which sounds wonderful it really is so has sound with depth herb, rich in flavor and freshness the subwoofer sound amazing the tweeter sound amazing and when the car is at you know sort of full blast it, it sounds really really incredible really crisp really quality you can see continue from before when i was talking about the contrast this dash has this contrast so you have the seashell on the bottom and black on the top and it has leather covered surfaces everywhere i mean it's gorgeous everything is supple everything is soft everything is quiet i can hear myself talk i mean it's just a very very amazing environment to be in for a car it, it truly is so coming up here to the top stack you have your home link controls your mirror following this top stack higher you have of course full led lighting panel which everything here is led your sos for service help and any emergency situation if you need to connect to somebody from rolls royce and this button here which is pretty amazing the Wraith has two options for the roof. So you can get it with a sunroof or you can get it with what, what's called the, the, a starlight roof. So the more popular option, of course, is the starlight roof because you have 1,340 fiber optic cables and a network of, of fiber optic systems here on the roof that, that you can turn on via this button and it's what's called the starlight roof. So it'll give you the effect of having stars above you and it's just absolutely majestic at night it truly feels and looks wonderful I mean you just feel like you're looking at the stars and as I understand you can actually program this starlight roof to display constellations or, or certain skies that you would want to see uh, here right there when you turn the star panel off and if this was a sunroof of course you go back to open the sunroof and forward to close it but in this in the starlight setup this dims the starlight roof and this intensifies the starlight roof and you can turn it off I love that feature all of us love that feature here it's one of the best things we've ever seen of course your visors have you know polished finishes on the edges Bluetooth microphone for the passenger Bluetooth microphone for the driver So let's see, you have some compartments here for your ashtray, 12 volt DC power source, telephone here if you had the telephone option. You know, I can't imagine why they still have these old style, old style telephone setups, uh, but it's here if you had that option. And again, another 12 volt power source. One feature about the Wraith is that this center console, this center panel, follows through all the way to the back of the car. So if you watch this panel here, this center piece goes all the way straight into the back for the rear passengers, which gives the rear passengers a really comfortable seating position where they can rest their arms, have convenience features of cup holders, and similar things to the people in the front. And we'll go sit back there in a minute and see how it feels back there. This car is equipped with um, fairly significant options. I mean, this car has a $290,000 MSRP. And I think this car is about 360000 
but Rolls Royce, uh, Rolls Royce's bespoke program, it's pretty extensive. I mean, you can change the clock, you can change stitching, you can, it can get pretty wild when you get to the bespoke program of Rolls Royce. So traditional to newer cars now, newer, newer luxurious cars, your transmission is operatable via this stock. So you pull forward and down to go to drive, pull forward and up all the way to go to reverse and push the park button. One thing about the camera system, safety camera system in this car, when you're in reverse, you have this three-way bird's eye view changeable to your traditional rear view camera which it says never solely ride because you're supposed to look around but um, you can turn on your parking aids which gives you that steering wheel where you're supposed to end up or you can go back to your bird's eye view amazing features in this car So let's go into the passenger seat and see how it feels to be a passenger riding in this car. So let's see what it's like from a passenger's perspective. Again, suicide doors, plush carpeting, very thick plush carpeting for the driver and passenger. And of course a fancy feature for the passenger as well as they may, just like the driver, close their door automatically. So the passenger's position is a very nice place to be. I mean, it's real comfortable. You have all of the features accessible to you just like the driver. You sort of get this relaxed seating position where you sit back into the car and it's sort of the car sweeps forward and it, it's really nice feeling, really heavy feeling uh, for the driver and the passenger. Of course, stitch Rolls Royce emblems in the headrest for all the seats. And I just love this piping, this black piping feature. This car has one of the best combinations that I've ever seen in a Wraith. So let's go to the back of the car and we'll see how this procedure works. So there's a handle here. You grab this handle, seat comes forward. And if this doesn't give you enough space to get into the car, you have a switch here that will allow you to move the seat forward automatically. Again, plush carpeting right there. Plush carpeting for the rear. And you get in, very comfortable. And so here you are in the rear of the car. And again, all of the features that the front has, cup holders, ashtray, 12 volt power supply, climate control, and vents you can open and shut and move in any direction you need. So the rear passengers, part of the 18 speaker system, have their own uh, speaker setup here. They have their own window switches, which are up and down automatic, and have a very unique way of rotating up and down. I suppose it's rotating around some door structure for that door, cur that, uh, door hinge, but there's no B pillar in this car. So this is one sweeping open uh, gap when both the windows are down. And something that's popular on Rolls Royce is the rear passengers have this vanity mirror that they can look. Just a quick look before they maybe exit out to a party or to some dinner. Beautiful climate controls, vent controls, cup holder, ashtray again. Rear glove compartment has two 12 volt power supplies for either passenger. And something that's very unique about the door panels and the center stack, this center panel is this, this finish on the leather. It's gorgeous finish. I mean, almost looks like ostrich skin, which it's not, but it's just a beautiful touch. Makes it look very luxurious. So let's go look into the trunk, look into the engine bay, and take it for a spin. Okay, so I'll take a look into the trunk. First the gas tank here, and of course as a convenience feature you can just set it there when you're filling your fuel.
close it there. Coming around to the trunk. Of course, you have an automatic trunk. Something unique about the trunk is that the cover is composite. It's not steel, it's not aluminum. Of course, it saves weight, but one of the key features of doing that is they hide all of the GPS equipment. They hide everything that usually is a little bump on other cars or is a little antenna or a little something that sticks out. It's all hidden in that, in that boot lid. Beautiful touch here is that the top of the boot lid, boot lid is, is covered in carpet here. It has carpeting. It's very nice, luxurious carpeting. Down here, it's a very, very, very deep trunk. I mean, I don't know because it's black carpet, if you can tell, but it's super deep. I'm almost fully into the trunk. Very big trunk, climate control trunk. Well, I'm not sure if it's climate controlled actively, but probably passively with these vents. Beautiful metal finishes everywhere. So those foot guards, they all have the same finish and this trunk guard here um, the, the rear passengers, front passengers have this where your foot goes to protect the car. It's a very nice, uh, not a chrome finish, but more like a, like a polished finish. It's very nice, like a satin finish, excuse me. So let's go ahead and close the trunk. We'll take a look in the hood. Beautiful, like jewelry. So this motor is the same motor that's used in the Ghost. It's used in the 7 Series BMW 760 Twin Turbo V12. In the case of the Wraith, it has more power than the Ghost and the 760 at 624 horsepower. And it has massive torque, 590 at only 1500 RPM, which is just incredible. 1,500 RPM, you're barely touching the gas, you have all the torque you need. Gorgeous engine bay. Fit and finish is just fantastic. So, let's see what she's like to drive. Okay folks, so here we are behind the wheel of the 2014 Rolls-Royce Wraith. It's one of the most decadent cars I've ever driven in my life. One of the most soft, quiet, effortless. I mean, it's just a dream to drive. Everything in this car is just absolutely stunning. I mean, you have 624 horsepower, 590 foot pound of torque, almost right from the gate. And everything is, in, in Rolls Royce's description, very waftable. You know, they made the Ghost, the Phantom, everything with that, with that spirit of being waftable. So it's just sort of effortless motion. You know, it's not cumbersome. It doesn't, it doesn't interrupt your thought. It's just, just absolutely a dream. So this car shares platforms with uh, the BMW 7 Series. In other words, the BMW F01 platform, that's the basis for the 7 Series line, is also the basis for the Ghost, is also the basis for this car, the Wraith. Many things share over. Of course, I was explaining earlier, earlier in the interior detail that the iDrive system is shared over, and it's very similar. And there's other features, the key and, and the sounds, the noises. I mean, it, it, it's incredible. I was reading that the, the sounds the car makes to tell you to turn your fasten your store or to tell you to fasten your seat belts or to tell you the car is unlocked or to tell you the car is in is in drive when it should be in park or there's a dangerous there's sound engineers that sit there and and program these sounds and adjust them to tone up or tone down or one octave or one note up and down and they sit there thousands of times over and over again making these sounds until they get the sound absolutely correct and they did that for the bmw they did that for rolls royce their rolls royce brand they did that for mini it's just everything has its own unique and that comes from bmw which is which is pretty pretty fantastic that they would take that sort of detail with this car one thing i've driven the the wraith i've driven uh, uh pardon me the ghost the phantom i've driven the phantom coupe i've driven the phantom convertible and all of them seem to have this sort of yacht 
boat personality when you're driving they sort of swing from side even though it's effortless they sort of swing from side to side and and, and it's sort of this this commanding sort of captainship sensation this car is that sort of happy medium where it's just perfect for a driver's car you can get in and out of traffic you can park it easy it has all of the features of the bigger cars and, and it's so it's really commanding in the road it's a little bit shorter than the ghost it's a, a little bit wider than the Ghost and, and the track is a little bit uh, shorter than the Ghost. So in other words, the height is a little bit lower, the wheel track is a little bit shorter and the body width is a little bit longer. So you get this sort of aggressive forward motion approach. One thing to note, the spirit of ecstasy in this car only in the Wraith is, is canted forward five degrees to sort of give you that motion, that, that, that uh, appearance that it's always in motion. And with the fastback look, in other words, the hood line sort of blends in with the trunk line. If you're looking at the ghost from the side profile, you don't get any cut back where the rear windshield is. You just sort of get this smooth transition into the trunk. And that gives it one of the most unique and stunning looks that any car, it sort of looks like sculpture. It really does. It sort of looks like somebody etched this out of rock. I mean, it's just this beautiful, fantastic shape. And you know, you gotta leave it up to the British. I feel, like royalty in this car I mean they know when you talk about British elegance this is the epitome of British elegance it's so smooth and we're gonna get the power uh, on the power here as soon as the traffic opens up just sort of, sort of talk about the sensation you get when you're opening it up in, in open traffic it's a beautiful day here in Houston uh, to do a review like this I couldn't have picked a more uh, gorgeous car on a more gorgeous day to do a review and it's absolutely fantastic so I love this that there's no RPM gauge to have this power reserve meter you know so how much power you have left in other words if you hammer the throttle down you won't have any power left because you're commanding all of the power it's similar to an inverse approach to the RPM I really do appreciate that so right now I should note I have the lane departure warning on. I'm going above 40 miles an hour and I just switched lanes. The moment I got close to that lane marker there, my steering wheel started to vibrate and gave me a, gave me a stiff feedback to, to warn me to correct. So that was, that was pretty cool. I mean, it works totally fantastic. So we'll get on the gas here a little bit. Effortless. I mean effortless. I didn't feel the transmission shift. Nothing. No body roll. No hesitation. No odd movements. No sudden movements. This car is just an absolute dream to drive. I mean, I can't afford this car, but the way it makes me feel, I feel like I can afford this car. It just makes you feel wonderful. One thing really cool about this car, you know, this car is the most technologically advanced car in the Rolls-Royce lineup. And that goes all the way into this unique transmission. It's the first ever that somebody's a car company has done something like this, where it uses GPS data to select your transmission gear and select your transmission's behavior. So it'll look on a map based on your position and, and appropriately select the gear or, or assist you in selecting a gear that's appropriate for the road condition you're driving in. And that, that's just an incredible feature. Who would think of matching your physical topographical location to what your transmission should be doing and you have to leave it up to these you know British engineers and, and maybe they're not all British that are working for Rolls-Royce but these the auto engineers in total that are working for Rolls-Royce you have to give it to them that they just think of the most oddest things that that turn out to be quite helpful when you're in places like mountain ranges or downhill and, and things like that because obviously the elevation will be a key factor in how it selects those things so the, the, the camera might not show it, and I certainly don't feel it, but the roads I'm driving through are quite bumpy, and I absolutely feel nothing in this car. The other key difference, which I appreciate now that I'm driving the car, is the thickness difference in the steering wheel grip from this to the Ghost. The Ghost is a little bit thinner. This one has a more authoritative thickness to it. It does have that soft, supple leather feel that the rest of the interior of the car has. Um, so it, it does feel great as a driver's car. It feels good in my hands. The steering wheel feels wonderful. The steering um, uh, ratio, in other words, is a little bit higher. It's it's the the steering wheel at higher speeds. The way it's 
its setup, it'll give you more subtle, more smooth uh, changes, but that translates into requiring more motion in the slow speed. Uh, but, but for this car, it absolutely works perfect. For this car, nobody could have chosen a better way to do that. So now that the road opened up, we'll go ahead and open her up. Amazing. <laughs> That is fantastic, I must tell you. I'm laughing because you just, you can't picture a car that weighs 5,000 plus pounds move like that and, and not make you miss a beat. You don't feel nothing in the seat. It's <laughs> zero to 60 in four seconds, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you have no, it, it, it doesn't exhibit the behavior like, oh my God, it's going fast, nothing. And so, uh, basically, that'll uh, wrap up our review here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the Wraith with us. I hope this video taught you a little bit, as particularly if you're, you're an owner of this car or you're interested in buying this car. I hope this helped um, you know, with your decision. Please subscribe, please follow our channel. We'll have more updates, more Rolls-Royce cars coming in the future. Uh, we have Phantoms coming, Ghosts coming, uh, a lot of more exotic cars coming. So uh, we hope you appreciate uh, some of the videos we're putting. Leave comments, let us know what you think. But again, find us on YouTube, um, Motor Car File is our page, follow us. Again, subscribe, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, all under Motor Car File, Instagram, all under Motor Car File. And of course, you can catch us at www.motorcarfile.com. Thanks, guys.